Give me a minute. I want to talk about today, January 16th, uh, which is day 692 of Vladimir Putin's war of aggression against the people of Ukraine. Uh, but I want to talk about January 16th, 1969, because on this day in 1969, the USSR accomplished something that had never been done before. They, uh, The Soyuz uh, 3 and the Soyuz 4 space capsules docked in space, and that had never happened before. And two cosmonauts uh, did a spacewalk over to the other orbital vessel, and they were able to return to Earth. Amazing, right? Breakthrough, stunning. The Americans wouldn't do it for another two months. Why do I mention this? Why do, right, why do I bring up this history? Because those many decades ago, the USSR and the United States were in a space race. Everybody was competing and innovating to see who could get things done first. We were neck and neck, two superpowers in the world. Where is Russia at today? I mean, sorry, where is the USSR at today? There is no USSR. The USSR is gone. Its self-appointed inheritor, Russia, is destroying itself in its effort to execute its neighbors for its own short-term, unenlightened self-interest and no other reason, none. Pure incompetence, mismanagement, and hate. And I want to point out that you can go from, this is a, an, an object lesson to us, especially in the United States, but in the West in general. You can easily stop being number one. And all we have to do is look at Russia to understand what the formula is. Allow unchecked corruption in your government up to the highest levels. Hold no one accountable. Let violence be the answer to your political problems. Concentrate wealth in the hands of a few and ignore the wishes of the majority and the needs of common people. That's the recipe. You will note that that is also the platform of the MAGA crowd and the Trumpists. They are, the re they are stirring the pot with the recipe for dictatorship, an end to democracy, and the impoverishment of us all. And I don't just mean financially. I mean our freedoms, the freedom to say what we want, to criticize the president, to uh, have freedom from religion. They want to teach our children their religion in our schools. No, 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 no. Look at Russia. Watch it fail and then understand that the, there are people in the United States and in Western Europe that are following the same recipe because they want us to fail. They want to be the ones with their boot on our necks. And I say no, and so should you.